It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Alchemy Brewery. And this is their Bring Out the Imp. This is an Imperial Stout in a 330 milliliter bottle coming in at 10.5% ABV with a black bottle cap. We'll get the description later on. I like to go into these kind of beer reviews blind, not really knowing what I'm going to get. I kind of know what I'm going to get from an Imperial Stout, of course, but I don't really necessarily need to read descriptions from brewers because I like to gauge my own opinion on the beer. So with that said, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Now, I was really surprised with this one because I picked it up in Waitrose and the price was superb. It was, I think, off the top of my head, because I've had it now a, a month or so. It was something like £2, £2.50 a bottle. And it kind of made me step back and think like, because initially I went to Waitrose to pick up uh, Camden Town Brewery's Beer 2021 uh, because I've not had any of the Camden Town Imperial Pilsner barrel aged beers before and I was determined this year that I would get one to review. So I went for that and I was looking for a bottle of Fuller's Vintage Ale which I couldn't get hold of. And to my surprise because I haven't been to Waitrose for a number of years the range was massive. A whole new range of beers that I was was completely new to me. And I come across this and I checked the price. I thought, oh, this is going to be expensive, 10.5% ABV. The Camden Town beer was 10% ABV. The, the Fuller's Vintage Ale was something like 9% ABV. And they both were, I think, Vintage Ale is something like £5. And the Camden Town beer was something like 9 nine pound a bottle so i was thinking you know 10.5 percent. this is going to be a pricey little number but it come in as something it was something like two pound or two pound fifty correct me if i'm wrong comment below if, I, if i've got this price completely wrong but i'm i was i was a, i was a, a, a back with with wonder for the price of this of this beer let's hope then that it's good for the price point It looks good, pardon for my extra carbonation. Um, it, it does certainly look really good for an Imperial style. It's jet black beer in the glass. There's no light bleeding through the glass whatsoever. Um, let's get the aroma. It was a, didn't have much of a head on it, but a lot of Imperial stouts with the ABV, they don't really have much of a chance of a head unless they're from Scandinavia where they make them really thick and goopy and you've got a tan coloured head on them but let's get the aroma then it smells good it does it smells good raisin plum fig prune it almost has a, a whiskey barrel aged aroma to it Like a woodiness, like a, a wood chip and oak aged feel to it. It smells delicious. Those are chocolate, coffee, caramel aromas. <laughs> Let's dive in. Pretty good beer in the aroma. Let's hope it is in the taste. Quite thin, quite thin, um, immediately I'm thinking it's a bit of a shame, but but some people, they don't like a big thick imperial stout, they would prefer dry Irish stout, which is a lot thinner, it's a lot less of a, of a body to the, to the stout. But I'm on the other side of the fence. I'd much prefer my Imperial Stouts to be thick and gloopy and wonderful.
but then that brings me back to the price point again two pound two pound fifty for a bottle of this you're never really going to be expecting a ton of oats a ton of mouthfeel um i always see it as a, a little bit of a shame because You've had the opportunity to go into Waitrose. Maybe Waitrose said, look, you need to brew an Imperial Stout at this price point. Maybe it was Waitrose who said, look, it needs to be on the shelf for this price point. And then it gets taken out of the brewer's hands. But I would like to think that the brewers could kind of come back and educate Waitrose and say, look, yes, we can put a beer on a shelf for £2.50, but it's not going to be great. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be world class, which I think if you added another couple of pounds, then it could be great. And the people who want to drink Russian Imperial Stout won't mind paying £4, £4.50 a bottle. It's almost already implanted in their brain that they're going to be paying x amount of money four pound four pound fifty for a bottle of imperial stout you've only got to look at the start of this video to see my almost shock that i picked this up for, for for so cheap it was kind of wishful thinking for me that it was going to be a great beer i, I was hoping i was hoping it was going to be a great great imperial stout but it's almost impossible. This, 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 I, I, I bought Session Pale Ales at 4%, 4.2% that cost £3 a can. If you, if, you, if you work that out in terms of kind of malt usage, getting that ABV to 10.5% ABV for £2.50 a bottle, cheaper than a Session... <laughs> session pale ale for, for three pound a can and then you can see why the this is not tasting as great or as mouthfeel as, as it should be in terms of flavor though there's a little bit of chocolate caramel coffee flavors a little bit of raisin and plum and fig but it, it, it's not great. It's not great. And I think maybe maybe they need to go back to the drawing board with this one. If this was my first time drinking an Imperial Stout from a supermarket after loads of hype, loads of people saying, oh, you've got to try Imperial Stout, they're brilliant, then I would be rather disappointed if this was my first taste of an Imperial Stout. A 10.5% Imperial Stout brew with molasses, licorice and oatmeal and fermented with a Belgian yeast and aged in Cotes de Ronde casks. So it has, it has been aged in a, in a barrel. I thought it had, I thought it had, I could taste the, I could definitely taste the woodiness and the, the, the oakiness in the beer. But for me, it's nowhere near in terms of mouthfeel, nowhere near. It needs to be way more thicker and creamier than this to pass as an amazing imperial style but that's enough for me i'm gonna rate it i rate this beer i gave this beer a i'm gonna go as low as a five out of ten i'm afraid it's a five out of ten for real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers